Tomo News presents Inventions of 2016. How body liquefaction technology dissolves human bodies. You have many options for what to do with your body when you die. Bury it, freeze it, cremate it and turn it into a diamond. Let it take part in a Tibetan sky burial. The list is endless. One option you probably haven't thought of is liquefying your body. No, it's not quite something like this. A Florida funeral home was the first funeral home in the U.S. to use an alkaline hydrolysis unit in 2011. The Rezumator is a steel chamber that uses a solution of water and potassium hydroxide to dissolve body. The chamber is pressurized to 10 atmospheres and the temperature is cranked up to 180 degrees Celsius for between two and a half to three hours as the remains are dissolved. The resulting body liquid is pure enough to be disposed of in the sewer system, while the bones are crushed into ash. Metals, such as artificial joints, are also recovered. Resumation Limited, the company that owns the Resumator, says that its units are an efficient and green alternative to cremation, since each unit produces a third of the greenhouse gases that cremation does. Spanish company develops a mattress that will tell you if you're being cheated on. The Spanish designers of a new smart mattress claim their invention can tell you when your partner is being unfaithful. Dubbed the Smartress, the bed has a lover detection system that uses vibration sensors and contact zone detectors to tell if someone is on your bed when they're not supposed to be. If the system detects activity, it notifies you via an app where you can see the movement's location, intensity, and impact. Engineer Ivan Miranda says the device can tell the difference between the activity of sexual intercourse or a dog jumping on the bed. Dermot, the company behind the Smartress, says they've designed it because of Spain's high level of adultery. Basically, Spaniards like to bang a lot, so much so that Dermot went and developed an Orwellian bed. Wouldn't it be easier just to use a remote webcam? Seabin device designed to keep the ocean clean. Australian surfers Andrew Turton and Pete Kaglinski, who are also best friends, decided to do something after they became frustrated with the amount of trash that was floating in the ocean waters that they spent much of their childhood playing in. The duo quit their jobs and invented the Seabin, which is what they hope will be a sustainable way to reduce the amount of garbage that is polluting the world's waters. Built from recycled materials, the sea bin is fixed to a dock with a water pump that runs on shore power. The pump brings water through the sea bin, which allows the natural fiber back inside the device to catch the floating rubbish and debris before water is pumped back out. Users have the option of installing an oil and water separator to the pump to clean the water that flows through it before the water is allowed to flow back into the ocean. The sea bin is lined with a natural fiber catch bag that collects floating debris. When the bag is full, it can be changed with another clean one, and the collected debris can be disposed of responsibly. Turton and Kaglinski are trying to raise enough capital to turn the sea bin prototype into a reality. According to Australia's ABC News, crowdfunding has helped the two men raise $50,000 for commercial production, and a video of the sea bin in action has attracted more than 10 million hits online. Smart Shorts for Men Designed to Help Improve Their Sex Lives A new pair of technologically enhanced shorts have been designed to help men improve their sexual stamina and ultimately gain the ability to have multiple orgasms. Villif, a startup from Palo Alto, California, has created smart shorts aimed at helping men perform Kegel exercises in order to build stronger pelvic floor muscles. The floor of the pelvis is supported by a layer of muscle tissue, which stretches from the tailbone to the pubic bone like a hammock. In men, exercising this muscle through Kegel exercises also strengthens the bulbocavernosus muscle, which controls urination and allows for erections and ejaculation. Men can identify their pelvic floor and bulbocavernosus muscles when urinating by stopping the process midstream. Both muscles are used to stop the act of pee. The shorts are equipped with a vibration device that syncs to an app, which tracks pelvic floor movements. The app also allows users to play games by performing Kegel exercises that are detected through sensors in the shorts. Villif promises the shorts will help men get better erections for longer, but buyers beware, be careful what you wish for. How Microsoft's planning to make your mirrors smart 
Microsoft has designed a smart mirror that allows you to check the weather and look up the status of your stocks while you brush your teeth in the morning. Everything a person could ever want. Microsoft's Magic Mirror is a one-way mirror with a 23.6-inch LCD-lit screen behind it, which allows the mirror to show white UI elements on a dark background. Besides displaying information like the time and the weather, the mirror may also be able to tap into the Internet of Things and provide information like the fastest route to work. Microsoft uses a Raspberry Pi 3 microcomputer to power the Magic Mirror. The mirror also uses Windows Hello technology to conduct facial recognition. Its facial recognition system is able to recognize eight different emotions, including anger, happiness, and surprise. The facial recognition feature could provide real-time information to advertisers on how people are reacting to an advertisement displayed on the smart mirror, which is totally not intrusive at all. Microsoft unveiled the mirror at a technology conference held in Singapore last month. The product is still in its early stages and not commercially available yet, but that hasn't stopped people from getting crafty and building their own. MIT designs smart tattoo that can control your phone. A group of PhD students from MIT Media Lab in collaboration with Microsoft Research have developed a smart tattoo that can not only remotely control your gadgets, but is also quite fashionable too. One version of the smart tattoo has an input function using capacitive touch sensing. The gold leaf functions as electrodes and is attached to a touch controller that filters all raw data. Once the tattoo is applied onto the skin, the user can swipe or click on the tattoo as a trackpad. Another version of the smart tattoo uses skin as a display. A layer of thermochromic ink is added to the tattoo, which changes color when exposed to high temperatures. A third version contains an NFC chip that connects to a coil made of gold leaf, which allows users to exchange data via near-field communication. Researchers say the tattoos can be designed into any pattern and can even include LED lights. The materials needed to construct this technology are highly accessible, which means the total cost of making one of these tattoos is less than $5. Trash can in India provides access to Wi-Fi signals. Startup company ThinkScream developed a solution to the littering and internet connectivity problems in India, a trash can that offers Wi-Fi. ThinkScreen's Wi-Fi generating trash can was inspired by the music festival experience where littering and lack of Wi-Fi are notorious issues. The bin, a roughly four feet tall box made from acrylic and equipped with a Wi-Fi router, was created to inspire people to toss their garbage somewhere else besides the floor. When garbage is placed into the trash can, the trash sets off a sensor at the base of the bin. The trash can then generates a passcode users can enter into their mobile devices. From within a 164 feet radius of the bin, users are able to enjoy 15 minutes of Wi-Fi connectivity. ThinkScreen wanted to create a Wi-Fi network powered by garbage and dispersed a number of these smart bins throughout festival areas. They aim to expand this concept throughout other cities. The project is currently being tested at events and colleges. Smart 7th grader designs even smarter bandage. A smart bandage that detects moisture levels and signals when it needs to be changed has helped a 7th grade student from Oregon impress the judges at the Google Science Fair. Wounds covered by bandages heal faster because the epithelial cells can move in a moist environment, whereas wounds exposed to air dry up and form scabs that slow the healing process. However, changing bandages too often or not frequently enough can lead to infection or slow down the healing process. The bandage uses biopolymer chitosan with carbon nanoparticles to reduce bleeding and measure moisture levels in the wound. Chitosan is extracted from chitin, which is found in crustacean shells. It is widely used in medicine to reduce bleeding and as an antibacterial agent. The moisture sensors in the bandage were created by printing a fractal pattern using ink containing nanoparticle conductive carbon and active charcoal nanoparticles. A battery and Bluetooth chip sit on top of the bandage and are covered by a normal bandage adhesive layer. When the moisture level is high, electrons inside the bandage experience less resistance. When the bandage dries up, 
the electrons detect much higher resistance. The change in resistance is noted and can be wirelessly transmitted to a mobile device, which then prompts the user to change the bandages. The invention by 13-year-old student Anushka Naiknawer has earned her a $15,000 scholarship. She'll also get a free trip to LEGO headquarters in Denmark and a year of entrepreneurship mentoring from a LEGO executive. Samsung patents smartwatch with virtual user interface. A recently discovered Samsung patent shows a smartwatch that can project its interface onto any nearby surface, addressing a key limitation of the smartwatch screen. The patent describes a smartwatch with a camera that captures an image of a target area. A processor detects the target area from the image, and a projector beams the virtual interface onto the target area. The watch could project its interface onto the user's forearm, as well as their fingers. The watch could also project the interface onto any flat surface, such as a nearby door. The system would be controlled by gestures. The technology could also be applied on other wearable technologies, such as augmented reality and virtual reality headsets. The system described in the patent would make it easier for users to control a smartwatch, compared to input systems on current smartwatches, which rely on a touchscreen or mechanical controls. However, this is just a patent. Samsung has not announced concrete plans for producing such a device. Solar-powered floating farms could help feed the world. Barcelona-based company Forward Thinking Architecture has developed a solar-powered floating farm system that could ease growing global food demand. Smart Floating Farms, or SFF, was inspired by traditional grid-shaped fish farms in Asia. Each SFF is 200 meters wide and 350 meters long, roughly the size of six football fields. They can be connected to form a cluster of modules. Photovoltaic panels are installed on the top level to harvest sunlight for electricity, and it has rainwater collectors for irrigation purposes. Other renewable energy technologies such as micro-wind turbines may also be added. The second level is a greenhouse for the vegetables, which are grown without soil under the hydroponic system. The plants receive natural light from the skylight opening. The ground level is used as a fish farm on the open sea and features a fish egg hatchery, a slaughterhouse and a storage room for the fish. By using farms in nearby waters as a food source, the SFF can help reduce reliance on imported food. All the modules are centrally controlled by software via cloud technology. The production data will be analyzed and can be used to make comparisons on the food needs for specific cities. Each SFF is estimated to have a maximum production of just over 8 tons of vegetables and slightly over 1.7 tons of fish per year. The floating farms are ideal for densely populated cities near coastal areas, such as Los Angeles, New York, Tokyo, Singapore, and Hong Kong. As the world's population increases, food demand is expected to increase 50% by 2030 and 70% by 2050. Toyota pilots keyless car sharing service. Toyota will test its new smart key box technology in vehicles used by car sharing service GetAround in San Francisco at the beginning of next year. A smart key box is placed inside vehicles in the car sharing program. The person who wants to borrow the car will receive a code via an app on a smartphone. When the smartphone is brought near the vehicle, the pre-sent code is authenticated via Bluetooth. The user is then given access to the car and its push-button ignition. The user's code is only valid during the vehicle reservation period. The system will only be functional on all Lexus models and Toyota Priuses in the initial stage. Electronics just became a lot more wearable. A new body of work by a group of Japanese engineers could have us staring at the backs of our hands instead of our phones. A research group from the University of Tokyo has developed an electronic skin that can be worn like a temporary tattoo. The e-skin, although composed of several layers, is only 3 micrometers thick. It's also flexible and can withstand crumpling and distortion. A protective layer keeps out oxygen and water vapor, enabling the prototype to function for several days. 
Currently, the device can work as a pulse oximeter, measuring blood oxygen levels via light-emitting diodes that are laminated on the finger. The team is working on ways to further the technology, which in the future can be used to monitor people's health. With advancements like this that fuse technology and biology, it may only be a matter of time before we all start wearing our smart devices like second skin.